Welcome back, everyone. We are starting to see the cloud cover move out. We've got plenty of sunshine here in central Iowa. Still a few isolated showers and thunder showers way out to the east, but that activity quickly dwindling. In fact, you see central Iowa totally dry at this point. A couple of light showers still in parts of Davis County. They're moving out of Wapalo County now. Still a few over in the Iowa City and Cedar Rapids area, but again, this is all on the backside of our upper level low pressure system that is now pushing to the east, and it will take those showers with it here very soon. In fact, the cloud cover has almost totally moved out of the area. Clear skies, plenty of sunshine. Those clear skies will ultimately play a factor in what we see tonight. Here's a live look for you on Sky Tracker 5 in downtown Des Moines. Temperatures not too bad at all right now. In fact, it doesn't feel like mid-June out there. 72 in Des Moines, 70 in Marshalltown in the low 70s in Oskaloosa. We have 70 degrees out in Audubon, Atlantic, Creston, and down in Lamoni. The wind's really the only bad factor, I guess you could say, as we go into the evening. Still pretty gusty out there. These are sustained winds about 15 to 25 miles per hour. You notice up to 23 miles an hour there in Ames and then gusting as high as 35 to 40. So it will stay blustery through the remainder of the evening and it will start to calm down a little bit later on tonight. The front, the low pressure all pushing to the east now. Dry, windy conditions out behind that and that's going to lead to a fairly cool night. The winds will die down though thankfully by 8 p.m. They'll be anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour by by 11 o'clock midnight, they start to taper off some more. And early tomorrow morning, the winds will generally be calm. That'll allow those temperatures to fall rather quickly. Here in the metro, I'm expecting a low near 48 degrees. That's just a few degrees shy of a record low temperature. The record low was 45, set back in the 1950s. So it's been a while, and the average low temperature for this time of year is about 61 degrees. So it will be at least 12, 13 degrees below the average. And hopefully, we will uh, see that rebound pretty quickly tomorrow. In fact, I think we will. It's going to be a quick warm-up. A high near 75 for Thursday. Tons of sunshine, low humidity, probably zero cloud cover out there. A great day. Maybe sneak out for lunch outside tomorrow. High temperatures around the state. It'll be in the 70s, a little bit cooler off to the east, warmer mid to upper 70s out to the west. We're going to have that total sunshine as we go throughout the day tomorrow. And then things do start to change again as we go into Friday. That's when a little bit more cloud cover will move in. Also the chance for a few isolated showers. However, the better rain chance comes on Saturday. That could impact some some of your plans if you're headed out to Iowa Speedway Saturday, 78, the temperature there. But we will be dealing with those showers and scattered thunderstorms, so I want you to keep an eye to the sky. Sunday, Father's Day, though, looking dry, warm, too, with a high near 82. Pretty typical pattern coming up now, more like what June should look like with highs. Anywhere between 80 and about 84 degrees, not a whole lot of variation in our highs. There will be some thunderstorm chances arriving, not only for the weekend, but also into next week.